Hi, this is Pastor Jim. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 10 says this. Finally, and this is after giving instruction on how to raise children, how to discipline oneself. He says, brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. There's times that we live life, we're just exhausted. It's just, I don't have it. Discipline and raise children, direct them in the ways of the Lord. There's times that we just go, oh, I'm so tired. Nothing's working. In those times that nothing's working, well, let me put it this way. I've been working on my boat. Nothing's been working on my boat. I'm getting no power whatsoever. So what I did is I put new batteries in. I made sure the power source was there, but I'm still getting no power. Come to trace it down with different meters. The main breaker is broken. The switch doesn't work. What I've come to realize in Christianity is the same thing. The Lord has tasks for us to do, but we can't do it on our, on our own. He has the power, the power of the Holy Spirit. That's fine, there's no problem there. But where the problem lies is sometimes I'm broken. I'm not turned on. And I would encourage, just like the breaker in my boat, I have to hit a switch to be able to say, power is running. And what the Bible is telling is, brother, be strong in the power of the Lord. What I have to make sure is, in my own heart, the flow of the Holy Spirit is on, that it's working. And we know that there's certain things inside our life that separate the power of God from flowing. It says in the Bible, not to grieve the Holy Spirit. And what this is, it may be something inside our life has shut the power source from flowing through us. Make sure your power source, your life, has the switch on and then the power of God is going to give you the energy the strength the diligence to do the task at hand hey this is Pastor Jim until we see each other face to face or you click on again I pray that you walk in the grace of God as you follow Jesus Christ